The intraovarian administration of platelet-rich plasma is a new tool used to treat patients diagnosed with a diminished ovarian reserve. Diminished ovarian reserve is defined as being a reduction in the number of eggs available in the ovary after an ovarian stimulation or even no response at all to the treatment, which means that the chances of a successful pregnancy decrease considerably. We know that these patients do have follicles or eggs in the ovary, but they are dormant or in a latent state and they do not respond to the drugs that are normally used in assisted reproduction treatment. Some research work carried out suggests that they could be activated with the administration of platelet-rich plasma or PRP in the ovary. What is PRP? Platelet-rich plasma is a part of the patient's own plasma that is obtained by separating the components of a blood sample in a process known as centrifugation. This portion of the blood has a high concentration of platelets and it also releases a large number of growth factors that are involved in repairing the different tissues. For example, repairing the endometrium in patients with failed embryo implantation and refractory thin endometrium who do not respond to the treatment, and in this case, ovarian activation. This treatment is quick and painless. Firstly, a blood sample is taken from the patient just as if it was a normal blood test. After being processed in our laboratory, the plasma obtained is injected into the ovaries by means of an ultrasound-guided transvaginal follicular puncture that is performed with sedation. This technique is similar to the one used in the ovarian puncture technique for egg retrieval. It could even be used in the same egg retrieval procedure in patients who will undergo ovarian stimulation later on. After the treatment, the patient must be kept under observation for a few hours, although she does not have to be admitted into the hospital. As the patient's own blood is used, there's no risk of rejection, no adverse events have been reported, and there are a few treatment contraindications. However, we must bear in mind that no treatment that is currently available is going to improve the quality of the eggs, because this basically depends on the age of the patient, which is why it is up to the medical team in charge to determine whether it is appropriate to administer the treatment in view of the patient's safety and the likelihood of the treatment being successful.